What's up guys, it's Johnny O with Tito Tech TV and today we're going to talk about setting up NTR on your Nintendo 3DS. So for those of you who don't know, uh, NTR is a custom firmware that was developed uh, that if you have a new Nintendo 3DS you can actually use it to stream the gameplay from your 3DS to over Wi-Fi to another computer on your network. Um, what this will allow you to do is actually capture that stream and either record it locally or broadcast it via Twitch or uh, YouTube gaming. Uh, so NTR has some other functionalities and whatnot, but for me this is the number one reason for me to <laughs> even homebrew my 3DS to begin with uh, is to be able to get that video streaming over the Wi-Fi set up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the setup. Um, so if you guys saw my video before about setting up Homebrew and custom firmware, um, you'll be familiar with this 3ds.guide. On the last page of the guide, installing ARM9 loader hacks, they have a link down here for you to the NTR CFW. Um, again, I'll put a link to this in the description below. So if you click this link here, it'll go to the GitHub page. Uh, currently, the latest revision is NTR CFW 3.4 Preview 2, again, new 3DS only. Uh, so you're going to want to go ahead and download this zip file right here. So once you've downloaded the NTR starter kit, you want to go back and then go to this page to get the boot NTR CIA. And then we're just going to replace this one. And then we'll copy NTR bin to the root of our SD card. And then copy boot NTR over to our CIAs. And go ahead and eject our SD card. So you're going to boot your 3DS with the SD card reinstalled. And go to your FBI application. Go to your SD card. Go to CIAs. Go to boot NTR and install. Then we're going to go ahead and exit. And you see it's added to the home. So then we can go ahead and launch NTR. And now if we press X and Y together, we'll get the NTR menu. And so you do get a process manager, uh, a couple of things, screenshots, uh, real-time save, CPU clock. You can adjust on the new 3DS. Uh, you can reboot and shut down from here. You can manually adjust backlighting. So we'll go ahead and back out of that. And if we do X, Y again, you'll see this enable debugger here. So press X and Y together, enable debugger. And what that'll do is enable you to stream over your Wi-Fi. So one thing you will need is to know your IP address of your 3DS. And so guys, the other thing that I recommend uh, you download to go along with this is NitroStream. Um, so again, I'll put the link to this down in the uh, description below to the download for it. But you download this NitroStream here and what you'll want to do is take it and put it in your NTR viewer folder and I actually just put a shortcut to it on my desktop so I can get to it a little bit quicker so if you go ahead and open NTR or I'm sorry open NitroStream and then we'll put in the IP address of our 3DS and so We'll enable top and bottom screen, do them vertical, we're going to do picture quality at 90%, uh, priority 1, quality of service 101, we're going to make top screen priority. So we're going to go ahead and hit connect. I say yes to the UAC pop up. And there you go. You'll see we have a stream of our 3DS live right here. 
So if you want to increase the size of this window, what you can do is go ahead and close this off to disconnect. So if we set this to two and two and do connect again, say yes, you'll see we get a larger display here. And so the other thing you can do is, let's say it doesn't work because I've got And so you can see here I have an overlay set up for capturing the top and bottom screen for if I want to do a recording or a stream of any games in OBS. Uh, so guys, go ahead and hit that like button if you like the video. Get subscribed to the channel to see more content like this. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial video on how to set up a template um, in OBS with you know backdrop and then set up your windows like this for doing recording and streaming of your 3DS. Uh, so until next time guys, it's Johnny O signing out.